and uh, in, in the acupuncture world, in our in our body acupuncture, we do have immune points, plural. So we will talk about that and how they affect the neck because it is crucial and it is important. So I thought about okay, uh, we have so many naturally uh, because of uh, the times questions about immune. How can I make that relevant to the seminar being of a neck, shoulder, and back uh, seminar? The evidence uh, is very clear, and the uh, answer is actually quite, as they say, in front of us. I started about Renmai, yes, and uh, we talked about Dumai, yes, and uh, we have a very interesting point called GV14. GV14 is a point that uh, we palpate often. And those of you who are not accustomed to palpate and make decisions uh, based on palpation, uh, this is the point in TCM when a person has an uh, invasion of external pathogenic factors, especially of the nature cold. Uh, direct moxa is immediately applied to that point. That's very classical classic as in Chinese classic. Uh, those who uh, are not accustomed to uh, create a blister or to make a uh, markation on the skin with direct moxa, they can use indirect moxa with a moxa pole. Yes, uh, this is the hand that keeps the uh, region uh, temperature monitor and this is the pole in my hand, yes, virtual. Uh, the heat of that area or heating up that particular point will help opening up the gate by which the external pathogenic factor can then be pushed out. Remember, this is the gate opening. The gate opening does not mean expelling the pathogenic factor. We need then to give internally a reason to bring that heat out, as in... Uh, um, nutrients, herbs, uh, vegetables, uh, whatever, that move and, and warm uh, the uh, external pathogenic out and up, and we open up GB14 and whoosh, out it goes. Uh, like cinnamon, uh, we have uh, a scallion decoction, uh, we have uh, cold season tea, uh, we have ginger uh, uh, preparations, and, 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 and I mean, there's, there's so many warming and moving uh, teas and preparations. Again, if, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, then uh, you can always email me and uh, I will give you my thoughts on that. Now, GV14. GV14 is often when a patient uh, has an immune uh, reaction, meaning something inside the body demands the immune system from to participate. Uh, what do I mean more specific? GV14 is exactly the region where the thoracic duct comes the closest to the spine. It's interesting that this is also the exact, exact point to influence the lymphatics uh, and uh, vice versa. But now we go a little bit deeper into the acupuncture. And uh, this might be, if you want a, uh, a sneak peek, you call it, uh, into our next seminar. And uh, that would be palpation-based acupuncture uh, use of divergent meridians, which means how can I diagnose uh, the divergent meridians and how can I influence them directly with proof that I'm actually using the uh, di uh, divergent meridians, uh, using palpation. And so here I'm merging uh, uh, thoughts and also bringing it into the, into the uh, times, the relevance of, of our times right now, is that the divergent meridian of the lung, large intestine, is expressed very often with pressure pain on GV14. Now, the divergent meridians are meridians that become and are formed uh, as pathology starts to accumulate in the body, which means when pathology is in the body and gets streamed, 
and uh, the body can take care of the pathological byproducts, the metabolic byproducts of the pathological process, there is no divergent meridian. The divergent meridian starts to get formed. It actually starts to become a channel when the regular channels are overwhelmed, have an excess of pathological byproducts, if you want, or uh, the byproducts of the metabolic processes as a response to a pathology. <clears throat> uh, I can make it even more tangible to you that uh, if I have a uh, specific uh, virus, okay, let's take the times as an example. Uh, if I have a virus come in, our body is now mobilizing the immune system and creates a reaction. Now, this reaction is made from uh, various uh, cells and components of cells and different kinds of materials and affectors and effectors that flood regions. And uh, every uh, virus uh, has a specific location where it is strong at. Uh, and this particular virus, interesting, uh, the COVID-19 uh, is accumulating and is strong in the large intestine and lung. Now, does that not light a big light bulb? Large intestine and lung is uh, a very straightforward, very well conceptualized, very well structured uh, organ system in traditional Chinese medicine. There are herbal uh, decoctions for that. There are meridian treatments for that. There are acupuncture points for that. There is so much that we have to influence the large intestine and lung complex. And I thought to give you something very, very specific and uh, very useful that uh, has to do with the neck as the bridge between East and West, uh, and now what can be better times, as well as the immune system, and that was a lot of times the question yesterday, what about the immune point, what about the immune point? <laughs> and, uh, the, uh, and the practical uh, aspect of today, and that is press on GV14. GV14 will become painful if pathogenic uh, uh, influences start overwhelming the uh, meridian system and byproducts cannot be moved out, out through the urine and the feces, out through the uh, lungs, the breath, yes, and uh, the sweat, and they start to accumulate. If you want a cytokine uh, uh, accumulation, cytokine storm, or a immune system activity, it is not the actual pathogenic factor. It's the accumulation of the byproduct of the immune system. That accumulation needs to be moved out, yes? Okay, so GV14 is painful. So we have an access point, stomach 12, and we have a return point, large intestine 18. Neck, neck. And the diagnostic point, neck, GV14. Ergo, simple. GV14 painful? Check. Is the uh, stomach 12 uh, um, painful? We can use it, massage it. Does it reduce the pressure pain on GV14? Doesn't? Okay. Large intestine 18. And if you look at the uh, slide, uh, you can uh, see large intestine 18 because a lot of times people say large intestine 18, mm -hmm. where is that? Well, here it is, okay. Uh, the large intestine 18 is in the anterior aspect of the upper third of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Let me just go back to the more interesting slide. And uh, if stomach 12, yes, is uh, not reducing the pressure pain at GV14, and I will elaborate a little bit later, uh, go to large intestine 18. Large intestine 18 is a very simple point to needle. It, it has a nice muscle uh, and a nice fleshy part where the needle can be tapped in. Uh, and if that reduces GV14, et voila, we have successfully, if you want, activated the divergent meridian that is created due to pathology and help the body move out the excess pathogenic factors that are a result of the metabolic uh, uh, processes of the immune system. I know it 
takes maybe a second to digest what I just said so quickly. But you will see it, it, it makes perfect sense. And it's sometimes surprising how simple it really is. The idea to uh, uh, work with uh, the divergent meridians is a very useful idea. And again, I will, I will make a seminar separate to how to work with the, the, these meridians based on palpation. We can know very quickly if indeed it worked, how it worked, how to tweak it. But the light bulb really went off, you know, in my mind when I heard the questions about the immune system, when I needed to bring some relevance to our topic also to these days and uh, to uh, talk about the neck. The large intestine and lung channels uh, are exactly where the pathogenic factor, uh, COVID-19, uh, for example, is strong at. That has an affinity to these regions, you know. And uh, this is useful, helpful, practical, and it actually also explains why acupuncture is indeed a very important profession in these times. Not just hospitals which are overwhelmed and uh, uh, not safe for patients, you know, as much as we want them to be, they're not. However, if all acupuncturists will actually start doing their work in, in this particular uh, fashion, they are indeed justifying their legal status as allied profession, which means uh, in Massachusetts, for example, uh, where the lockdown uh, is uh, now for non-essential uh, uh, professions, acupuncture is in the list of allied professions which are essential. And this is an example, only one of them, uh, among many, uh, why it is really essential for us to start really working in an organized way and supporting the community, giving them an answer. And now imagine, suddenly everything spreads a little bit more reasonable to be uh, uh, treated. Why uh, divergent meridians? Because they become, uh, they uh, are created due to uh, pathology. They are not there when the patient is healthy. All right, so again, it's very useful. We know there is a pathology when the points that activates those divergent meridians work. Work on what? On the palpation uh, regions that we decide uh, we want to check. For example, we have uh, the large intestine divergent meridian and the uh, large intestine lung divergent meridian. They present themselves as pressure pain, if you want, on GV14. Uh, that particular uh, region uh, is significant to the immune system due to its proximity to the thoracic trunk. Treatment point, large intestine 18, which I find very, very practical, and or uh, stomach 12. Stomach 12 is a uh, uh, point that I will elaborate a little bit more because it is more complicated uh, because the pain at stomach 12 can indicate many other things as well. Let's say that it's more uh, in the lung region. Well, lung one, fleshy part of lung one. We don't stick the needle in perpendicularly. Everybody knows how to use lung one. It is actually uh, 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 needles in a flat, sorry if I'm rubbing the microphone here. Uh, it is a needle in a very flat direction, 10 degrees, you know, uh, in relation to the skin into the direction of the lung channel. Lung one can be activated with the magnet. Just put the magnet on lung one uh, and uh, tap on it. Lung one can be activated with an interdermal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, again, you're all acupuncturists and we don't need to uh, uh, talk about things that are supposed to be, what, year one, semester one, right? Okay, so, but, when I say lung one, you know how to use lung one. But also, you know, large intestine 18 is the return point for the lung as well as for the uh, large intestine, okay? It's the return point for lung, large intestine. Lung one and stomach 12. So it, you can, can you see the anterior triangle? You can, right? Large intestine 18, lung one, stomach 12. That is the influence triangle uh, to open up a, if you want, sewer system to move the pathogenic factor out. Allegory two, 
we want to prevent the cytokine storm. Yes, this is the terminology of the day. This is, as they call the uh, problème de jour. Uh, this is what we want to prevent, okay? One hand, we have the guard from the pathogenic factors. Okay, there is enough herbs for that. However, now that it is in, and it uh, is very normal that it will be in just like all pathogenic factors that come and go from our body. We want to help the body to have a sewer system to remove the byproducts of the immune system. Ergo here, what we want to prevent is the cytokine storm and the acupuncture uh, uh, activation is really helpful here. Remember, this is an idea that, had, that existed you know, for thousands of years. Let's use it, okay? Good. What are these points? Why did I list these points? Well, I, I actually didn't list anything. This is a page from a book. So, <laughs> so but, 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 uh, just joke this aside, okay? Uh, the, idea, the idea of these points is these are our control panels. You know, we do palpation-based acupuncture. We want to push. We want to push and we want to uh, uh, make sure that we can needle somewhere so that what we pushed and was painful goes away. As complicated and as simple as that. So GV14, painful. Okay, that will give me an idea of the uh, um, divergent meridian. And for me, it's one of the main points, really. Gallbladder 21. But, you know, who doesn't have gallbladder 21 pain? right? Uh, stomach 12. Stomach 12 is, is a complicated point. This is the uh, region where the scalenus, the plasticima, uh, there is the thoracic uh, trunk. It, again, we will talk a little bit about the neck and, 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 and everything that goes on in the neck. It's complicated and you will find a lot of times pain there. Large intestine 18, treatment point, yes. Uh, large intestine 15, very interesting. Because, you know, one of those uh, methods that you learned in palpation-based acupuncture, or uh, if you're a student uh, of the Kiko Matsumoto style of acupuncture, slash Nagano, uh, Fukaya, um, etc., cetera, large intestine 15 is a point that we use for detox, remember? Hmm, detox. What does detox, detox from what? I mean, not everybody here uh, has vices where we need to be detoxed from. Uh, so detox from what? Well, detox from the accumulation of metabolic byproducts. That is a lot of times the pathology itself, not a pathogen, us. We, we are the one who create the pathology by accumulating metabolic byproducts. So the large intestine 15, do the moxa on large intestine 15, by the way, with kidney nine, side uh, bar, uh, that will help the body to excrete the metabolic byproducts, as in, quote unquote, detox. But what if it's painful? And uh, people who know me and my teaching, I really don't like to stick needles in areas which are too painful. Uh, patients have a natural aversion. Uh, patients don't like so much. Well, maybe my patients, everybody has their own patients, but you know, it's, it's for me more interesting to have an area which is painful and then use a distal point in order to reduce that area, which is painful. Somehow it involves, again, as my perspective, somehow it involves more, uh, intellect. Somehow it involves more of the body to participate in the healing process. Pain here, treatment here, good here, done here, is very local, very small. What about the rest of the body? What about the heaven and earth? What about the conversation between the intellect and the zang fu, which with no doubt is one unit? So if large intestine 15 is painful, but I want to use it, how can I make sure that large intestine 15 is no longer painful and I can use it uh, then further? Well, one of the answers, one of the answers would be, is the divergent channel rel relevant? Is the divergent channel uh, active, open or created for me to treat? So try large intestine 18, see if large intestine uh, 15 is no longer painful, et voila. Now you can 
use large intestine 15 with or without kidney 9 to do other things like if you want more global or more specific detox. And stomach 15 as well, uh, it's a pressure pain point often there. Uh, these, are, these are all points that you can press and see if they disappear, the pressure pain disappears on those points using the uh, access and return. And again, a lot more of that uh, on our seminar. Gear, are we doing, we're thinking of October? Yes, we're thinking of October uh, to uh, create a seminar where the uh, uh, divergent meridians and extraordinary meridians are going to be diagnosed and activated based on palpation, which means there is evidence-based medicine happening, easy to activate, you know. Uh, these are things that are not studied in acupuncture school so much, and I always, big question mark, why? They're easy, they're very accessible, uh, uh, nice to palpate the control points and easy to uh, treat and get those control points away. And these are the channels that are created when there is a pathology, all right? Good. So we know now what the uh, bottom uh, uh, points mean.